Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick NapTech tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to create, use and master the Ken Burns effect in the latest version of iMovie, iMovie 2017. So let's dive right into it. Alright, so as you can see in my media area right here, I have a sample image that we'll be using to create this Ken Burns effect on. So you're going to start by selecting your image that you'll be using the effect on and dragging it into the timeline. So just drag and drop it into the timeline here and select how long you'd like the image to be displayed for. So in my case, I'll just select a sample for seconds. All right, so once it's in your timeline, as you can see, most of the time, iMovie will automatically have a sort of preset Ken Burns for you. So as you can see here, if I play it, there's a sort of Ken Burns, but it's not the way I really want it to be. So I'm gonna show you how to change that Ken Burns and give it the effect you're really looking for. So first of all, select the uh, image we'll be applying the effect to and go up here to this crop icon. It's like a square with bar sticking out and select uh, in style Ken Burns. Now again, it's been pre-selected here and iMovie has sort of pre-made a Ken Burns effect, but I really wanna customize it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So once you're in this style Ken Burns area, you could go ahead and select the start and end uh, window. So what these are is pretty much where uh, the camera will start at and where it will end at. So at the beginning of my four seconds here, the camera will be zoomed in to where my start window is. So this window right here, and it will end up zooming into or out uh, until it reaches the end window, which is at the end of the four seconds, which is this window right here. So what you want to do to get that custom Ken Burns is select your start window and end window so that the zoom in or out uh, is exactly what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and try it here uh, in a case where the start is a bit smaller than the end and it's in the top right, uh, top left, and where the end is a bit bigger in the bottom right. So this is really a customized Ken Burns, uh, which I'm looking for. And so in this case, we're not really zooming in or out, but we're more uh, hovering over the image. So we're starting in a corner and moving to the other. So once you're done, just click that icon again and the changes will be saved and you can preview it as if it was a normal video in your timeline. All right, so as you can see here, we're not just zooming out, we're also moving and hovering around the image. So you can uh, change these windows until you get the Ken Burns you're looking for. Uh, and that's pretty much how to get the effect. Now, if you see uh, the zoom in, out, or hover being too fast for you or too slow, you can change the speed by simply adjusting how long the clip is in your timeline. If my clip, uh, say my clip is six seconds, it would be f the, the zoom in, or the zoom out, or whatever motion you have, it could be a hover over the image, it will be slower than when it was four seconds since uh, the action is stretched out over these whole six seconds. So as you can see here, the hover is much slower. But if I wanted it to be faster, all I have to do is reduce the size of the image. So less than four seconds, which is what we started with, to say two seconds. And as you can see, the motion is much faster. All right, and that's pretty much how you get uh, the Ken Burns effect on an image in iMovie. It's very simple once you know how to do it, and I hope this video teached you how to do it. Uh, again, it's just this crop icon right here, style Ken Burns, and select your start and end windows. If you have any questions related to this, or if you want to suggest a new video, make sure to leave a comment down below. We will read it and respond. And if not, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to be notified whenever we release new videos like these, whether they be quick tutorials for Mac, Windows, iPad, iPhone, and iOS, or other reviews, unboxings, and more. 